Hello racers and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do a quick review of the Sky RC uh, battery discharger and analyzer. Now this one is the 250 watt 35 amp model. They do sell a 200 watt model. So this one here is a little bit extra discharge capability. Now the reason I bought this one is my charger doesn't have a very strong discharger and I wanted to bring my packs to to uh, storage voltage quicker after race days. So I do have a pack here that we can do as a little demo, see how it works. Let's first take a look and see what you get in the box when you buy one of these. So inside we have the instruction manual, which we'll take a quick look at. Uh, we have the unit itself. Uh, you see in the unit itself just has a face plate, a couple little indicators, a button. I was surprised when I first saw it that it has very few inputs. Just one for the battery, one for a computer USB, and a replaceable fuse on the bottom. Also in the box, you get a charge cord that would go out to the battery, plug in on the side, uh, but no connector on it. You'd have to solder in your own connector. A little bit of a surprise. And it uh, comes with a spare fuse. Now for me, the, the the connector and wire is a little bit short here. I'll bring up my the battery that I want to discharge. It's a it's an R1 battery, um, but I kind of wanted to put it a little bit further away from the unit, and the wire wasn't long enough. So what I did is I made up my own wire with an XT60 connector and uh, the five millimeter bullets that I have on all my battery packs. Uh, to hook it up, it's pretty simple. You plug the battery connector in the side into the battery port. Plug it in to the battery. And that's how you connect it up. Let's take a quick look at the, the, the manual. Uh, so on the manual, it shows a cooling fan on the top. We saw the ports on the side, the dial on the front. This will do between 5 and 35 volt battery packs. Uh, it only has that one button operation to start a discharge and stop it. We'll do a little demo of that. Um, this is a 250 watt machine, which means that it's limited to how much uh, power it can discharge. So for instance, if this, if this battery was 10 volt, the most it could... Uh, discharge would be 25 amp so to figure out wattage it's volts times amp so 10 times 25 is 250 and that would be the capability of this machine so you can see here the four different cell sizes they tell you how much what the current draw is the max current draw so for a two cell it's 35 amp but for a three cell it's 27 okay it does show that you can connect this through that USB port. And we'll have to take a look at that on a different video. I did, it doesn't come with a USB cable, and it didn't come with any software, so it must be a download. Now, they did show this optional part. It's a cell uh, voltage checker for each cell. That gave me an idea, because you can see that it's just hooked to the power wires, that this discharger doesn't know the voltage either one of the cells in the pack. So I did have a, a cell checker and I connect, I wired it up as you would a battery to charge it. And then I can plug the cell checker in and check the cells separately. And you can see that this battery is close to storage. It has 3.88 in each cell. Okay, so let's see this item in operation. Now the first thing you notice, I have it all plugged up, plugged in, but it's actually not on until you push the select button. Uh, on the right here, you can see the amps that it's set to. It's currently set to 5 amp. And on the left, you can see the current pack voltage. It's at 7.8. And I'm going to do a discharge down to, uh, this battery says, I'm going to put it to 7.6, which is a good uh, discharge uh, storage 
voltage for this. Now uh, the switch, it's flashing on the amps and you can see that I can adjust. It's a very fine adjustment. It's not going up by an amp, it's going up by a, a tenth. So we'll just put it at five amps just for the purpose of this. It can go up to 35. If you scroll to the bottom, it'll wrap around to back up to 35 amp. I'm just going to set mine to five. Yeah, there's a lot of winding involved in this because it's such a fine adjustment. Okay. And then to switch to the other side, you push the button. And now you're setting the cutoff voltage. Now, they put a warning on the front of this that since this is only reading the pack volt, you have to be very careful that this is a combined pack voltage. That you can't set it down to say 5 volt or something because then it's below the it's below the usability of that lipo and you could cause uh, damage to your battery or you could actually start a fire. So let's pick that. I'll set it to 7.6 which is 3.8 per cell. And then to start it you just press and hold the button. Uh, you can see that it pauses for a moment and then it ramps up the the current. You see that it's currently drawing 5 amp and on the left you can see that it's switching between the pack voltage and how many milliamp per hours of power it's drawn from the battery so you can see that it's working away now if it gets hot the heat sink gets hot there's a fan on the top and it has a little blue LED that's backlit that lights up and it cools the unit it's, it's kind of self-contained that way and when it's done, it just beeps repeatedly until you come in and unplug it. Now, it, it does stop the discharge. It won't discharge past that cutoff that we set. And I set that to 7.6. Um, at, at any time, if you need to, to stop the discharge, let's say that, that you needed to put the battery away or, or charge it up, you simply push the, the button one time, and you can see that the amp turned to stop. And it showed the cutoff that it was going to be on. So hold it down till it beeps to start. Ramps up. And at any time, push the button to stop it. Now I bought mine at, a, at an online store called RC Juice. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Uh, these... These are available at all kinds of retailers. But if you wanted to see the example of the one that I bought, I'll give you the link. Um, if, if this is the type of video that you like, uh, click like, like or leave a comment. And we'll make uh, more videos for reviews like this. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again.